The Thirteen Petaled Rose, a discourse on the essence of Jewish existence and belief, with preface by Adin Steinzeitz, Rav Adin Evan Israel Steinzeitz, Zichranot Sadik Levracha. For our sons, Jason, Ben, and David, may the precious light of this book always be within you. Pritzker family, in honor of our children, Freiburg family, in memory of Joseph Dolphin, Celia Dolphin, Leo Brock, from Karen Murray Dalpin As the rose among the thorns, so is my love among maidens. Song of Songs What is the rose? Is it Knesset Israel, the community of Israel? For there is a rose above and a rose below. Just as the rose which is among the thorns has red and white, so does Knesset Israel have justice and mercy. Just as Rose has 13 petals, so does Knesset Israel have 13 measures of compassion encompassing in all its sides. Five strong petals surround the Rose and those five called salvation are five gates concerning which secret it is written, I lift up the cup of salvation. Psalms 116. Opening lines of the Zohar. Preface to the 13 petaled rose. Wrote this book many years ago to provide answers to 10 important questions that are the theoretical and spiritual basis for Jewish life. Writing this book was extraordinary experience for me. It was written or dictated in a lonely room with no understanding or imaging, imagining who the readers would be. At first, didn't know if there would be any readers for this book. Parts of it seemed too complicated. Parts of it seemed very, very distant from anyone's way of thinking. Over the years, somehow, the 13th Petal Rose has had a powerful impact on a great number of people. Came to understand books effect during those small encounters that author has with his readers. In some cases, the impact was so compelling that it was surely beyond wildest expectation. At least for some individuals, the encounter with this book was beginning of the change in their lives. For some people, drastic change of behavior. There is no real way to explain this, except for perhaps two small points. First, the rose cannot be counted among the great number of books written about Kabbalah in a humble way and without using very technical terms. It is small, insufficiently clear book of Kabbalah. The book's great advantage is that it's not an outsider point of view. Rather, it's a glimpse of insight. It seems that looking into the inside of Jewish life, of Jewish thinking, had and has great influence on people. Second, wrote this book in a way that at least think is true. To my mind, Kabbalah is theology of Jewish people. The rose is not so much about what others have to say about Kabbalah. The book describes that thing is the true picture 
of Kabbalah, in most of its forms otherwise so hidden. The Kabbalah is hidden not just by language, but by very difficult style, by a myriad of almost incomprehensive formulas. This is an attempt not to vulgarize any of them, but to restate some of the principles of Kabbalah which seem to be true. In our time, when some forms of distorted, commercialized, cheap kinds of Kabbalah have become fashionable, has to be specifically mentioned. This book doesn't attempt to make Kabbalah especially popular. This is a book that people have to encounter. It doesn't really teach out to everybody. Reader must make his own effort. At least that effort is, for many people, touch upon the print of truth, which is of extraordinary power. All for the 13 petaled rose was originally written in Hebrew. It was only many years after its publication in several other languages that it finally appeared in its original form. At that time, number of well-meaning people wanted to correct, to perfect the original text. However, after some years, they decided to leave it as it was. Two new chapters were added, and the end notes to the Hebrew text were compiled. The interested reader is referred to Hebrew edition for the end notes. The biggest change from original English edition to uh, reissued version is the inclusion of two chapters that had been added to the Hebrew version. They are very different from each other and from the rest of the chapters. One is a prolonged essay on the ways of prayer, not on the forms, but on the way that people do pray. The other is a commentary on excerpt from the Zohar, a very basic book of Kabbalah which contains its key notions. The explanation is given in a way that reader encounters something authentic, something of a thing in itself, not writing about it, not around it, but the thing as it is. So this edition recalls fondly the memory of late friend Yehuda Hanegbi, who was the one who originally posed original questions, urged to give answers, took the trouble of translating them into English. The rose reveals a little bit of that thing which is the mystery of what one calls truth. It's sometimes not elaborate. It sometimes doesn't seem especially spiritual. It sometimes doesn't appear to be especially innovative, yet it has its own beauty. The thirteen petal throws is offered to readers so that they can try to encounter something that is true in itself. For that purpose, the meeting between book and reader may be of use. Adin Steinsalz, Yerushalayim, March 2006 Rav Heskia Patach Chtif Keshoshana Ben Hachuchim Mean Shoshana Da Knesset Israel Begin Deit Shoshana Veit Shoshana Ma Shoshana Dehi Ben Hachuchim It Ba Sumek Vehavor Of Knesset Israel Eit Bad Din Verachmi Ma Shoshana It Ba 
Тлесар Алин Оф Кнесет Исраэль Ит Ба Тлесар Мхилин Драхми Десхирин Ла Коль Сатра Тергум Раби Хиския Патах Катув Кешушана Бен Ахухим Мизо Шошана Зо Кнесет Исраэль Лефиши ешь шошана, ве ешь шошана. Ма шошана шихи бейн ахухим, ешь ба адом ве лаван. А в кнесет Исраэль ешь ба дин ве рахамим. Ма шошана ешь ба шлуша асар алим, а в кнесет Исраэль ешь ба шалош асра, шалош асра медот. Шеле Рахамим, Хасове Вот, Ота Миколе Дздаде, Миагдама Лесефер Азор. Агдама. Эт Кнесет Исраэль, Совевим, Вешумрим, Алейш Хашушана. Кнесет Исраэль, Хи Шореш, Нафашот Исраэль. Хамакор ве амакор бо митканцот коль ха нафашот. Ха шориш ха пними, ха эхат, ха кодем ле коль маше. Ха шот ха фуалот ха нафашот. Бах ютан баулам. Шлоша асар эле ха шушана. А совевим ота мивать им эт медот харахамим ха эльонот. Ха мехилот эт ха ит яхсут ха пнемит. Ха ацмит шебетох коль ха цурот ха пратиот аль нафашот Исраэль. Сефер зе кмо але ашушана мию ад халя нашемот. Ху ба ледабер халя анефиш банекудата хапшута ве хапнимит. Банекудат хайота кешушана ацма, а в кодем шихи ломедет тора. Кодем шихи митпалелит о каемит это митцвот. Хакшарим шель ханефиш айудит. Хель элки. Хель атора. Хемпнимим йотер миколь цора пратит шиба поалим ве аф хошфим анашим. Элю кшарим ацмеим махотим бен хатура хакодеш барух у векнесет Исраэль. А кшарим алелю хем наэльмим кмахота нефиш ацма аф хем гам Пшутим кмо махшива решуна, ве кмо агава решуна, ве алейхим поне асефера зе. Асефер у битуй эхад шел торад ахен. Ахахма ханистерет. Хахма Нистерет ина хаевит, леистатер бамилим кашот, вебитуим свухим. Сод эмити ху, сод гам кашер ху, галуй леколь. А в парке сефер азе медабрим 
במילים פשוטות, הפונות לא על אוצר. הידיעת של הנפש ועל השאלות העולות מתוכן. אלו על תחייתה הפשוטה הראשונית. מה היא הנחי כיצד היא מתייחסת על אותה התגלות עלקית, עמומה מצועפת ואפילו מורחקת שבכל זאת קיימת ולוחשת בתוכה. זה ספר על דברים פשוטים, לא משום שהם כלים להבנה, אלו משום שעדיין לא הגיעו לסיבוך ומורכבות. על עצם היכולת שלנו להתייחס על עולמות אחרים, על המציאות האלוקית, על התורה, על התשובה, וכיצד להבין את האני שלנו, ההולך ושב בין העולם ובין האלוקים.